Hey everyone, Corey from Corey Reviews here to do a quick channel and Blu-ray Metal Pack collection update. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so before I get into the Metal Packs I got here, um, at first I was going to do like Steelbook and Metal Packs in one video, but I have a bunch of Steelbooks that I'm showing off and I also have a few more that are coming in the mail, so I don't want to wait till those get here. And I have a decent amount of Metal Packs over here, not a lot. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and show those off first and kind of just get some stuff out of the way uh, But before I get into the metal packs here I just wanted to uh, go ahead and just do a quick channel update as you can see uh, I got a new intro. I also have like a new channel design uh, Going on on my main page. I'm gonna try to do uh, some out and abouts every once in a while as well as a lot more blue exclusive and there is a big change coming to blue exclusive um, I'm going to go ahead and try to start it up again in September. Also, I've been on a diet lately as well, so I haven't been buying as much uh, Blu-rays as I usually do because I've been trying to, you know, uh, incorporate a lot of uh, healthy foods into my diet. And it's not, you know, it's obviously not that cheap to buy healthy foods. Uh, not as cheap as, you know, going to Taco Bell or Wendy's or something. But yeah, so far in the past, like, four weeks, four or five weeks, I've lost 14 pounds, so I'm going to try to continue on with that. Also, I did see a few new movies yesterday that I wanted to recommend. Because I'm doing this video, I'm not going to do reviews for them, but I did want to recommend uh, Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. It's not doing well at the box office, but it's a lot of fun. If you like the first Sin City, uh, I think that you'll definitely enjoy this one. Uh, Ava Green steals the entire movie. Mickey Rourke and Jessica Alba are also really good in it. And it's just about as fun and over the top and brutal as the original. I did enjoy the first one probably a little bit more, but I really did enjoy this new one. Um, I do think it kind of hurt them to wait nine years for the second one. But Sin City 2 was really good. Um, and also I saw uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I thought was going to suck. But to my surprise, it was a lot of fun. I had a blast watching that one. It was really funny. They didn't really overdo it with anything in the film. Great amount of action. I actually, you know, might be in the minority in this one, but I really liked uh, Megan Fox as a, as a kind of a new modern April O'Neil. I'm not a Megan Fox hater or anything, so I didn't, you know, go into it expecting to hate her performance. But also, I surprisingly liked the look of the turtles, the interactions, uh, the voices, the voice work and everything. But everything about the film was just fun. Uh, I think that it's better to watch both of the movies late at night because they're definitely movies that you got to watch with the audience. So those are my quick thoughts of uh, Sin City, Dame to Kill For, and Ninja Turtles. So now, let's go ahead and get on to the metal packs. All right, so the first one up here isn't actually a metal pack. I just got this one recently. I didn't want to mix it in with the Steelbook update because there's just so much stuff to show off. So I thought I'll go ahead and show it off in this one. And maybe because the casing starts with an M, you know, just go ahead and throw it in with the metal packs. But that is the Best Buy exclusive Magno case for the Amazing Spider-Man 2. This is the 3D version. I'm guessing this one is going to be a little bit harder to find because I don't think they made as many of these as the 2D version. Um, so I was happy to find this. I actually missed out on getting it at Best Buy. So I had to go on eBay and get it, you know, for a buy it now price. The guy was offering like 35 and I got it for like 30 I think I just did like, you know, a best offer price of 30 and he accepted. So thankfully, you know, I was happy to get this. It was around the same price I would still get it in stores. Uh, but it includes this, uh, comic book as well, which is pretty much like the Rise of Electro. Pretty cool. Uh, nice detail to it and everything. Lots of special features, the paper backing here. And this is just really nice. It's really glossy. <clears throat> and it opens up like that. I like to keep the Best Buy stickers or any exclusive stickers like that. I always keep them on the packaging if I can. And then inside, it's really nice. Three discs, 3D, 2D, and the DVD. And then the back here. I know a lot of people are complaining about how the discs are housed in there. Um, they probably could have used some spindles, but, you know, oh, well, they, they fit in there nicely. They, they haven't fallen out on me yet, so that's good. Um, and it's just, like, it's magnetized, so it just, you know, opens and it closes and then it, you know, will stay closed. So it's, I would highly recommend picking this up if you're a fan of the film or just want to own something completely new. I haven't seen, I've never seen a packaging like this before. I think th this is the first time any studio has done a packaging like this. So I'd recommend picking it up. You know, who knows if they'll ever make more of these, but I hope to see more. I really like it a lot. So that is the Best Buy exclusive Magno 3D case for The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And now on to proper metal packs. Um, pretty much all of these are for Target. <clears throat> and now on to proper metal packs. Pretty much all of these are from Target, except for one of them, which I'll show that one last. Uh, but on to all the Target metal packs that I picked up recently. 
Um, I think I got all these for $8 except for one of them. But the first one here is Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Some really nice artwork on this. And all these metal packs are matte finish, but they're pretty shiny actually. They, you know, all the images and stuff really pop on these. Um, some of these include special features, uh, some of them not really. But here's the inside, one disc, and this includes all the special features. And get the inside artwork there. Caesar, James Franco. Pretty cool. Uh, this is the Rise of the Planet of the Apes Target Metal Pack. And I'm not sure if Target still has these for sale or not, but I'm probably going to have to get a new one because there is a pretty big scratch here on the back. Uh, but that is Fight Club, David Fincher. Really cool. Inside. Get all the main characters there. Yeah, there's a pretty big scratch here right in the back that just goes straight across. So I think this is like only $8 at Target. I've still seen a few of these, so I might go ahead and pick up another one. Probably just you know give this one away or something. And next up here is the original Robocop film. This is the unrated director's cut that has all the special features. I think it's remastered. Back there. Inside with the disc. And inside without the disc. I know that there's a metal pack for the remake of the film, but I did not like the remake. It's just one of those movies I couldn't really see myself revisiting again and again. Uh, so I went ahead and passed on the remake, but uh, I'll definitely stick with the original. This one is awesome. And all of these are from the same series, uh, starting off here with the first X-Men film. Really nice and uh, Cyclops's, you know, kind of laser beam right there really shine. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's, it's really nice looking in, uh, in person. And then inside reminds me of the inside artwork of the UK Steelbook. Really cool. It has all the characters. And these do not include the special features disc. As you can see, it just says disc one, and that's all it has. Um, I made sure to keep the special features discs from the other sets that I sold. It would have been cool if it had special features. I understand why. I mean, these are only $8. Uh, so for people who don't care about the special features, you go ahead and pick it up. But I made sure to keep those special feature discs because I love watching documentaries. I'm a big special feature junkie. And it always bums me out when big movies like The Avengers or Iron Man 3 or, you know, Man of Steel, they don't have documentaries on their Blu-rays, which... It just, I, I really have no idea because they obviously film all the behind the scenes B-roll footage, so I don't really get it, but, oh well. Uh, next up here is X2, X-Men United. Uh, probably my favorite of these X-Men films, but my new favorite is probably Days of Future Past. When I, and I know that Target is going to be getting a metal pack for that one, as well as Godzilla. So I can't wait to pick those up. Uh, but the disc, same thing as the other release. And then the inside artwork. Yeah, I love this film. When I first saw it, I didn't really care for it, uh, but it's one of those movies that every time I watch it, it just it moves up in like my favorite superhero films list. It's really good. So that's X2, and then this one's definitely one of the weaker ones, but it's X-Men 3, uh, The Last Stand. Um, pretty shiny there on the front. And then the disc. Uh, this one probably has one of the nicest inside artworks, though. Really cool with all the characters there. I love the uh, the Jean Grey pose right there. It's pretty badass. Or the Phoenix, as I should say. But uh, yeah, X Men: The Last Stand. And this is definitely the weakest of the X Men films, but and this one was actually the cheapest. Um, pretty much all these were eight dollars, but this one was actually seven fifty. Uh, so not much cheaper, but it definitely deserves to be the cheapest. That is uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. And this one actually has all the special features. Uh, go figure. But really nice artwork though. The disc. And this one also has really nice inside artwork. All the characters. And I actually thought that uh, Taylor Kitsch played a pretty good Gambit. Uh, I know Channing Tatum is going to be the new Gambit. But uh, Taylor Kitsch is pretty good. It would be cool to see Deadpool as well in an actual movie where he can actually be Deadpool. Hopefully an R-rated film, but um, yeah, not the greatest movie. Actually, really not a good movie at all. But I'm a complete, so I had to go ahead and pick that one up. Also got X-Men First Class. This one also includes all the special features. 
I had the uh, Target exclusive slipcover version. Um, and I, surprisingly, that one was, pr I guess it's pretty hard to find because I made almost $50 off of it through eBay. So it definitely helped pay for pretty much all of these metal packs, just that one set alone. And then you get the disc. And this one also has one of the best inside artworks. Can't beat that uh, pick right there of uh, January Jones. So that is X-Men First Class, pretty good movie. And this one was more like a mediocre film. Um, it, the first half was pretty good, the second half is absolutely terrible, especially the final 20-30 minutes. Uh, it's the Wolverine. It doesn't include the 3D disc or the extended cut, which I know why you know most people passed on it because of that. And I did actually have the Best Buy exclusive box set, but I just thought I don't really care too much about the film that I need like some big you know box set for it. Um, and then obviously I just, I'm a completist, so if I'm going to have all the other X-Men and Metal Pack for them, might as well go ahead and get this one. So I sold that other uh, Wolverine set that I had and just got this one. Um, it wasn't all that in 3D anyways, and I'm sure the extended cut won't really help the film all that much. We get the one disc, and some also really nice artwork in the inside. Uh, this is definitely part of the nicest in terms of the outside artwork, um, especially right there at the front. This, I mean, it really pops, really shiny there on the front. Like I said, just a mediocre film, but there are some good things about it. Obviously, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine's really good. I really liked uh, the Viper character before she went crazy at the end of the film. Uh, they completely messed up Silver Samurai, but it's just, you know, it's whatever. But as a complete, I just had to go ahead and pick this one up. But this one was actually $14.99. It was originally 20 something I think, and then it went down to $14.99 when all the other ones went down to between $7.50 and $8.00. It was the most expensive, but it was the newest, so it makes sense. And then the last metal pack for this update here is the Great Gatsby. Uh, this is from Taiwan. Hard time getting this slip off. But yeah, really nice metal pack. Doesn't have any back artwork. It's kind of a bummer. Um, but the front of it really shines. And especially with this slip cover, you don't really need anything on the back if you have this on. Uh, but the front of it is just, it's beautiful. And the, when the light hits it, it just, it pops. This one is glossy, high, very high gloss too. I mean, if you hold this the wrong way, if you don't hold it tight enough, it'll probably slip right out of your hands. And the discs are white. Same thing as the uh, UK Steelbook, which I almost picked up that UK Steelbook because I had a chance to get it for like 15 to $20 or something like that. So it was really tempting. And this one actually cost me like almost 50 bucks. Which is pretty pricey, but it's actually one of my favorite films of last year. Um, probably like one of my top five favorite films of last year. I absolutely love this film. And I love the book. It's one of my favorite books. I love the original film with Robert Redford. This film is everything that I like mentally envisioned when I read the book. When you know, it was really over the top and elaborate. Um, this It's just everything that I envisioned. It's the perfect Ray Gatsby film, for at least for me, for sure. And I know other people who I work with really like it as well. Um, but yeah, I love this film, so the Great Gatsby Metal Pack. So going over these again, uh, the Best Buy exclusive Magno 3D set for Amazing Spider-Man 2, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Fight Club, Robocop, the original unrated director's cut, X-Men 1, X-2, X-Men 3, uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine, X-Men First Class and The Wolverine as well as The Great Gatsby Taiwan Exclusive. So yeah guys, that is all the metal packs with the Magno set that I got recently. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to try to do a lot more content. The school year has started so my hours at work won't be as crazy. Uh, so I definitely want to get out there and just do more reviews and updates, unboxings, out and about, blue exclusive. Uh, I want to do a lot more content and kind of get Corey Reviews 2.0 going, if you will. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and until next time, Corey from Corey Reviews, see y'all later.